this is Humphrey with Router Gods. In this video we're going to purposely screw up and take two interfaces and configure them with the same IP address and we'll see what happens. So we've got GNS3 up and running. I'm going to pop in two routers and then I'm going to connect them up with fast Ethernet. So fast 00 to fast 00. I'm going to fire everything up by hitting the green play button and then I'm going to get rid of my node types window. All right, so as the routers are loaded up, what we're going to do is I'm going to configure this side, router one side with all ones, 1.1.1.1, and the same IP address 1.1.1.1 on router two side. And then we'll see what happens. I'm going to fire up my console windows. Everything should already be set. I'm going to bypass the initial configuration by typing in no. and then let the routers settle down. I'm not even going to bother to do the host name or the logging synchronous or anything like that. Just going to go straight into fast00 IP address all ones and we'll make it a slash 24. Do the same thing over at router2. All ones over there. And then we're going to no shut both sides. So as I no-shut the first side, that's fine. Everything works great. Then I go over to router 2, no-shut there, and almost immediately you see should see some problems, namely duplicate address on a particular interface, and then it will give you the MAC address. Over on router 1 side, you can see the same error, duplicate address, all ones, and then you can see that particular MAC address as well. So it's basically telling you that your address matches the other side and both sides are going to scream at you every few seconds. And if we wait a couple seconds, we should see another warning pop up. There we go, another error. And both sides get that error. So this is what happens when you configure both sides with the same IP address. You will get a warning right away and that will be your clue on something is wrong. Thanks for watching.